in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends we the carmelite fathers greet you in the name of infant jesus and warmly welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel it's monday of the 23rd week in ordinary time the holy gospel according to luke chapter 6 verses 6 to 11 it happened that on a sabbath when jesus entered the synagogue and taught a man was there whose right hand was withered and the scribes and the pharisees watched him to see whether he would heal on the sabbath so that they might find an accusation against him but he knew their thoughts and he said to the man who had the withered hand come and stand here and he rose and stood there and jesus said to them i ask you is it lawful on the sabbath to do good or to do harm to save life or to destroy it and he looked around on them all and said to them stretch out your hand and he did so and his hand was restored but they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to jesus the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends in this modern world we notice millions of people are on mobiles social network sites but still some would prefer to send greetings write letters earlier we used to write inland letters then for every feast especially for christmas we would send greeting cards i remember when i went to the seminary i took around 50 inland letters but now that habit has come down but still there are people who write letters who send greeting cards all because we treasure the relationship we have with the people who give meaning to our life of course some relationships break off soon why someone beautifully said relationship don't have a natural death they are murdered by our ego ignorance and attitude relationships don't have a natural death they are murdered by our ego ignorance and attitude when there is love and understanding relationships never end in today's gospel my dear friends we heard about jesus healing the withered hand of a man in the synagogue on a sabbath day the attitude 
ignorance and ego of many jewish authorities scribes and pharisees did not allow their mind and heart to understand the words and deeds of jesus they began accusing him the authorities were more concerned in keeping up with the law of the sabbath than to provide relief to the suffering man they could save a fallen animal from a pit on a sabbath day but not show compassion to a fellow human being they were selfish to the core if the sufferer had been their own child then perhaps they would have themselves gone in search of christ but this suffering man was a stranger unknown and unrelated to them therefore the law was more important than the suffering person jesus my dear friends had the right attitude to suffer sorry to save the man not only by healing him physically but also forgiving his faults and granting him grace peace and joy St Paul exhorts us to change and mend our attitudes let us celebrate the festival not with the old leaven the leaven of malice and evil but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth you read the today's first reading let it to the corinthians first letter chapter 5 verses 1 to 8 so my dear friends question for our personal reflection is how do i relate with the with my loved one and strangers how do we relate with our loved ones and strangers second do i respond to them with my ego ignorance and false attitude or with love let us pray my dear friends today as we find in the bible diary is the birthday of janis mendonsa from mumbai and janet juliana de souza from bantwal we wish them happy birthday and we pray god's choices blessings on them as we start a new week my dear friends let's bring before the lord all our plans and projects all that we are going to do in this week our families our work the sick and the age especially those who have sent their prayer requests our benefactors our donors well wishers o lord help us to cleanse out the old leaven of malice and evil and become the new leaven of sincerity and truth amen have a great monday my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts May you be a blessing for them. God bless you. See you tomorrow. This is Father Stephen Pereira, Calm Light Priest, and my WhatsApp number is nine four eight one two six three two two nine. Nine four eight one two six three two two nine. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.